motion fire district to order thank you and good evening welcome to our thursday january 26 2012 meeting i would like to ask uh, director pearson to lead us to, in the pledge of allegiance please Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, directors. All right. We have our Metro Cable announcement. The open session meeting is videotaped for Cablecast on Metro Cable 14, replay on Saturday, January 28th at 1 p.m., and Monday, January 30th at 9 p.m. on Channel 14. Also, at webcast, the, it will be webcast at www.sacmetrocable.tv. A DVD copy is also available for checkout from any library branch. The open session meetings are also available for viewing on the district website at www.sacmetrofire.ca.gov. Now we come to the public opportunity to discuss matters of public interest within the juris district jurisdiction, including items on or not on the agenda. And for this item, I have one speaker, Mr. Roger Mitchell. Welcome to the podium, Mr. Mitchell. Good evening, board chairman, board members, chief Hinky, staff. I come before you tonight with a thank you. Uh, I, I represent, you might say, the, uh, the crew that is restoring real into second fire truck and certainly doing the restoration work inside old station 111. We hosted an event for our new supervisor, Roberta McGlashan, on the 18th, which was last Wednesday. And we had asked Chief Hinky to come and represent the district. And he did, and he, he spoke some gracious words. And with your permission, Chief, I'd like to say a few words just about what you said, and then maybe under Chief's comment or after I speak, you could follow up. But one of the first things he said after he had looked around at the restoration work, uh, he said, you know, as, as the fire chief, he says, I wish I could write a check to get this thing done in six months. He said, I see about 50 people here and you're all enthused, and I've seen some of you at the fundraisers. So to see that type of enthusiasm in the administrator of this district, knowing that this board shares that enthusiasm, it, it's a great thing. And we've had many phone calls since this event, even from Roberta McGlashan, saying, you know, very seldom today do we see two public entities, Sac Metro Fire, Real Indoor Recreational Park District, hand in hand, trying to save an old building, keep it in public ownership, as well as restoring the vehicles that are supposed to go into this. So Chief, uh, we thank you for your kind words. Uh, it meant a lot, and Supervisor McGlashan, uh, I bring good words from her this evening. She would like to sit down with not only yourself, but some of us and see how this is working. So I'll get on the schedule with your secretary and certainly would answer any questions the board might have about the reception that we hosted. Right, thank you very much. Thank you very, very gracious. much. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. Okay, <clears throat> now we have uh, something that's not listed on the agenda, but it's been put there as a special presentation. Are we ready, Chief? Uh, yes, we are, President Jones. Um, we have uh, Kyle Thomas, firefighter uh, for SAC Metro, and his rescue dog, Lila, and we wanted to bring him up and let him tell you a little bit about their successful journey in getting Lila and Kyle uh, certified as a type one certified rescue dog, which is an extensive amount of training. I think the public a lot of times doesn't realize the diversity with which we provide services, and this is one of the USAR dogs. So with that, I will uh, turn the presentation over to firefighter Kyle Thomas. Welcome, uh, Mr. Thomas. Hi. Kyle's Thomas. good. And it's actually Layla. I don't have a planned presentation, um, but I wanted to share in the excitement of our success. Last Sunday, we certified as a Type 1 or Level 1 uh, disaster search team. Um, it is a federal requirement 
She is capable of being deployed throughout the nation, state, local, and internationally. Um, she is technically owned by the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation. Uh, they paired her with me in June of 2010. It's been an 18-month process. Our first certification was in August of 27. It was a foundation, August 27th of uh, 2011. It was a foundation skills assessment, um, which is basically a state certification. And then last Sunday, we certified down in Ontario with Task Force 6. There are actually three dogs in Metro Fire, uh, Jason Cornell and Zoe, Shani Cornell and... Annie, and then our latest addition, Layla and myself. She is a point source live human detector. There is nothing better for finding live humans than a dog's nose. Um, she, her requirements were to uh, take a, a pile, a rubble pile, that was uh, representing a destroyed building, and alert away from me, uh, out of my sight, with a bark, a focus bark alert. She could not be more than five feet off. Um, she had two piles to clear. There were three victims on both piles. She could not false alert, so there was a live chicken that was buried in there as well. And uh, a Labrador uh, tends to bark at food. <laughs> <clears throat> she was rock solid. This is a super solid dog. Uh, she was born in October of 08 uh, in the L litter of Guide Dogs of America. Um, her drive was so high that she failed that program and entered into the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation in July of 2009. Um, I am totally open to any questions. I know it's a unique position. Uh, the one thing that is, um, I want to reiterate or point out is there is absolutely no cost to this agency for this dog being a resource. All on my own time. <laughs> Are there any questions or comments? So we'll start. How many, how many dogs like this are there, there in the United States? So in 1995, uh, at the Murrah building uh, in Oklahoma City, there were 15 dogs. Today, there are about 250 dogs. About 80 of those dogs come from the National Disaster Search Dog Foundation. Um, on a Type 1 deployment in FEMA, eight dogs go out the door. Uh, City of Sacramento has three. We have three. Then we have three or two civilian handlers, handlers Dave Stoddard and Teresa Wartenberger, and then El Dorado County uh, Operations Chief Rob Sima has a dog. On any given shift that you may be working, your partner goes with you. She's with me 24 7. Yep. 24 7. She comes home. She's not a pet, she's a, a working dog. That doesn't mean she doesn't get, lo get love or attention. Uh, yeah, she, her rules are a little bit different. Interesting thing, she works for one thing, it's a toy. <laughs> She's uh, not on a food reward or any other kind of reward. Her whole life revolves around playing with this toy. So a, a search is really just a game for her. Is there any way that you could, next time you go out and do some training, get some video and we could post it on our website for the community to see this wonderful asset and more importantly, all the time and effort that you and your colleagues put in? I think this is something that the community may or may not have any kind of an appreciation for that this asset, which is far superior than a human asset when trying to find these live bodies, it'd be nice to have that particular event on our website. Yeah, I, I can get uh, canned material, material that's already made uh, from the National Disaster Search Dog. With your face on it? Uh, you don't want my face. <laughs> well, well, that might be, that could be true, but I think uh, <laughs> well, it, it also yes. keeps nice. us from getting her face, and it'd be nice to show a, a metro nice asset. Oh, and that's you a are nice a team. Face, so. And you are, yeah. yeah. I think both would be just fine. Yeah. I think, Gary, I did you have something? Yeah, did Kyle, I want to I wanna tell you personally that uh, I know how much time and effort and love goes into preparing a tool, a dog, yeah. a friend like that. And you deserve an awful lot of credit for the investment that you've made on oh, behalf you. of yourself and this district. Thank so you. congratulations. Yeah. It's, it's fascinating work. And where do you typically work? So, yeah, currently we are down to two rubble piles, uh, 28, 28th, 28th Street, Belmarine. Um, 
is one rubble pile that we work on. L&D recycling on Fruit Ridge is another. We had two wood piles. Wood piles are great because Katrina showed us that that's exactly what it you know, re replicates. You know, you got a water come in and a bunch of wood left over. Um, we're short on wood piles right now. Um, I've been to Texas with her, I've been to Utah, I've been to Arizona, um, traveling to different scenarios. A very realistic scenario, tr uh, train a locomotive collapse or a locomotive crash. Uh, we've been in props where that, she's cleared, uh, cleared those areas without a problem. She, is she always this ill-behaved? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's totally out of control. Yeah. Are there any other uh, directors care to comment? <laughs> Director Scheidegger. Is there a typical uh, expectancy that you would have for your partner to uh, function with you? So um, the certifications are good for three years. Okay. Uh, so every three years uh, I have to certify. The, there's a saying in Australia with their catalogs, three years a young dog, three years a good dog, three years an old dog. So if I could get three certifications out of her, that's nine years. <laughs> She'd be 12 then. She'd be 12. That, that'd be an old dog. And then what? Then what would you? Then, then I have the option of doing uh, one of two things. Okay. I can give it back to the foundation. The foundation has a lifetime care for the dog, and they would find a retirement um, owner. I can keep her as my own for a oh, pet. Okay. Um, but I, I will certainly get another dog. Uh, All I'll right. be in the working dog. And then she's dog. retired with you. Yeah. And then she's retired and, yeah. with you. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have... Uh, I just wanted to uh, say that this is uh, what makes somebody that's in my position or senior administration uh, just one of the many um, talents of our personnel that we have working for us from the firefighters ranks all the way up uh, to senior staff and our civilians. They put this time in and uh, I never fail to take a moment to editorialize but uh, you know it's very popular today to beat up on public employees. And uh, there's literally thousands of hours for no pay, no overtime, nothing, to go out except the love of doing this uh, job and getting this dog ready so that if a Katrina happens or another bombing of a major building, which it's not if, it's when, um, that this country is prepared to provide those types of services. And we have uh, multiple people in Metro that do this, uh, three that do this type of uh, operation as well as a lot of other and, and it's on their own time because the love of the job and what they do and I think that's important to put out there because uh, it, it really is uh, not enough credit given to uh, the volunteerism that goes on and the hard work uh, to provide this service out there not just to this community here but across this great nation. Thank you very much Chief. Kyle do you have any? Yeah you know I, I just wanted to do one uh, demonstration with you. There, there's a ton of things that she's capable of doing but probably the most important thing she, uh, she has to do is a recall um, either by my voice, visual command or by a whistle. Whistle is the most unemotional. Um, so if I could do that and I'll call it good. Sure. Um, thank you. And just one more quick question. Sure. I'm able to go to a firehouse uh, the administration office and shake hands with most of our employees. Mm. Where do you work where I might be able to come shake hands with a dog? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm on truck 50 on A shift. Okay, thank uh, you. 8880 Gerber Road. Thank you. <laughs> she knows it's not a test now. <laughs> oh. All right. Layla and Kyle, thank you very, very much for the demonstration. Uh, Chris, or sorry, Chief Holbrook, do you have something to add? Only the focus on the dog. <laughs> Do you want us in front? <laughs> Do you want us in front? Okay. Well, what we were thinking is, as we 
have us be up and. Yes, sir. We can push the chair out of the way if you want. That might be nice. Let's push the chair. I think we have to get closer together. Yeah. Okay, come on. Short guys in front. <laughs> and tall gals in back. Right, like they do for police cop yeah puppies they do let's see <laughs> pretty awesome well, again Layla and Tyler thank you very much a quick closing antidote is uh, when I responded to Battalion 1 in the Collapse Building in downtown city of Sacramento, the, uh, the uh, alert dog, uh, I also requested the alert dog, and it saved us a lot of heartache and worry when the dog cleared the building. So uh, huge, huge asset. Thank you. All righty, let's see. Now we'll go on to the consent agenda, and Chair will entertain a motion for consent items. I move that we approve the consent agenda. Chair. And a second. second. It's been first and seconded. Charlotte, please call the roll. Director Monk. Aye. Gould. Aye. Kelly. Aye. Barzali. Aye. Newcomer. Aye. Scheidegger. Aye. Clark. Aye. Pearson. Aye. Jones. Aye. Motion passes. All right, thank you very much. We will now adjourn to closed session to take up the listed uh, items on the agenda. Oh, okay. Okay.